Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the linear algebra. Today we will discuss about the rank nullity theorem and its proof. Myself, Dr. Gurk, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute, India. So this is a lecture which is continuation of the playlist Mathematics 2, channel name Dr. Harish Gurk, where you have seen the basis and dimension linear transformation, range space, kernel or the null space of them. So today's lecture is based on these range space as well as the null space of the linear transformation. Suppose you have the transformation, you have the vector space V and W and make a transformation capital T from T from V to W. Then you can say the range of this transformation is called as uh, denoted by R of T that is collection of all those ranges in the in the W such that you have to take the element V from the domain, core domain and then map on the here. On the other hand, if you take about this collection of all those elements whose image is 0, then we call as the kernel of the transformation or call as the null space. Uh, these two lectures we already explained in detail in the last two one. You can watch them uh, in the previous two lectures. Now, this the number of the elements or the collection of all those T of V that is the dimension is called as the rank of the range space and the dimension of this kernel of T is called as the nullity of this transformation. And this uh, this rank nullity theorem suggests that whatever the rank of this transformation and the nullity of this, that is always with the uh, dimension of this core domain. How you can prove this rank nullity theorem? That's a very simple proof. We will see in this video in the very shortcut tricks. What is given to you? If you read this statement carefully, the one thing is given to you about the dimension of the V. That is the first thing. Second is thing is uh, you are talking about the nullity. Third thing is that you have to talk about the rank. It means you, our target to prove the theorem in these three steps are there. So make sure that you have to remember the definition of the nullity that is here. Nullity is that T of V is zero. Uh, rank is nothing but the dimension of the range space. So let's start with the proof of this in a very simple manner. Now it is given to you that dimension is my N. What is the meaning of that? Oh, what is the meaning of that? Whenever the dimension is n, it means it consists of the n vectors as a basis. So I consider as v1 up to the vn. Now we all know that the kernel of the t is the subspace of the vector space. Also, the range of the t transformation is the subspace of this. So once the kernel is a subspace of this, it means it is the subset of them. So as v is my finite dimension, so it means the nullity is also with the finite dimension. So once the null space is my finite dimension, it means I assume the dimension of the nullity is my P. That is a nullity of here P. What is the meaning of that? It means it consists of how many elements are there? P number of the elements which form a basis. So I assume there are V1, V2 up to the V and are form a basis of this. So now once it form a basis, what is the definition of the nullity? That is collection of all those elements such that the t of v will be my 0. So since it form a basis, so by the definition of the null space, all these elements are 0. Now also we know that the range space is the subspace of the vector space. So what about the other elements are there? I consider these elements as my b2. That is the transformation because uh, you have seen the range of the t is nothing but collection of here. So I can consider the element of the v, that is I consider these elements from the v and I can consider their image. Now your target is to prove just that B2 is the basis of the range space, B2 spans of this. Once you will prove that, it means B2 is the basis of this range. How you can prove that? That's very simple. Let's start the first part. What is the, how you can prove the uh, linear independent? You can multiply with the scalars and your target is to prove alpha P plus one is zero, alpha P plus two is zero, and so on up to the alpha n is 0. That's my target. If I able to prove this, it means the B2 is my ally. So how you can prove that? So we know that T is my linear, so I can, because T is my linear, so I can take alpha as inside. Now, what is the meaning of that? It means it can be written as of this plus alpha 2 V2 plus, sorry, alpha of P plus 1 of P plus 1 p plus 2 of p plus 2 up to alpha of n v of n. Again, t is a linear, so I can write this value as of summation of this. So I can write like here. 
now what is that whenever t of something is a zero what is the meaning of that it means this will belongs to the null space or the kernel it means this belongs with kernel so anything is given about the kernel look about that this line is given to you kernel it means this element will belongs to the basis of here so b1 is the basis of this so every element of the basis can be written as the linear combination of these elements are there so since it start from the i1 to p now if you open this bracket what is that this is beta 1 p1 up to p i can take as here so these are the elements of v1 vp up to the vn these are the elements of the b so but b is a basis so what is the meaning of the basis it means these are my li so what is the meaning of the li the coefficients are my zero so each of r zero now you can see these elements are my zero and that's my target so therefore b2 is the linear independent next part is that you have to prove that this is the span of this r of t what is the definition of the span is we can take any element from this and our target is to prove that element is belong to the b2 so what you can do that i can start with the why is there any element of the rt that is a range of t what is the meaning of that that is this is the mean that this is the definition of the range of t so it means i can consider any of the element x in the v such that y is equal to tx now what you can do that so since t is again x belong to the b and what is that x belongs to the b and b what is the basis of the v is capital b so i can write as a linear combination of this so it consists of the n number of elements so i can take this summation as here now we can take the transformation on the both side what is that so i can take the trans so what is the value of this it is nothing but my y since t is a linear so i can open this one as here what is the value of this now i can break this i varies from 1 to n to be i varies from 1 to p and then i varies from p plus 1 to n what is the value of this whenever i varies from 1 to p you can see that whenever i varies from 1 to p t of p1 and all are my zero and the rest are my here so what is that this is nothing but the linear combination these are all the elements of my b2 that is a linear combination of this so what is the meaning of that it means this is the span of the range space so hence we will prove that this is the this is the basis this is the linear independent this is the span hence this vector basis space b2 form a basis of this range space so once it's form a basis what is the dimension of this b2 how many number of the elements you can see that this is nothing but my n minus p because start from the p plus 1 to p what is the p is you have to see what is the p is my nullity what is the dimension of this range space the dimension of the range space is nothing but called as the rank of this so this is called as the rank this p is called as the nullity so now you can see that rank plus nullity is my dimension of the v because n is nothing but the dimension and that's the simple proof of this rank nullity theory so i hope you can simply learn in a very simple manner we will see some examples on the rank nullity theorem in our next class till then you can simply follow this playlist where you can find the vector spaces linear intersection span direct linear independent four different methods and then basis and the linear transformations are there. all you can find in the channel name dr rishkar you can simply follow this link for finding the various videos best of luck students happy learning